What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video, we are focusing on the solo section from Casey Jones by The Grateful Dead and why, in my opinion, it's the perfect Grateful Dead solo. So let's go. Also, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe button. A majority of you who check out the channel every month aren't subscribed to the channel. So subscribe. Cool. So today's video is all about Casey Jones. And there are a lot of cool things when we check out the solo that we can take with us to other songs by the Grateful Dead. So let's zoom in and see how we can approach this solo and why when all else fails, melody is always key. So before we dive into this solo section, like always, let's first analyze the rhythm and the chord progression that's happening beneath the solo. So let's take it from the turnaround, right? This F, E7, A minor, G. Pretty simple, hey? Just two chords. C and your F major that also goes from sus4 back to regular major, right? Back to C. And you can do a lot of like, keep the fun up as playing rhythm, right? Even though Guitar player two is soloing. That doesn't mean guitar number one, being the rhythm, has to be stale, right? Keep that balance. Rhythm guitar has to be equally or more important than soloing. So, with all that being said, let's adjust the camera a bit and zoom in to above the 12th fret and take a look at this solo. All zoomed in and ready to go. So, like in the previous clip, we've established that beneath the solo, we're comping between C and F. Right. Which, for us, is perfect because that leads us to the C major scale, right? Like I said, I think in the last video, I hope you know where your scales are. Right? 
C major scale. Very diatonic solo, which is awesome. One technique that really makes this solo stick out to me in particular is the use of the Garcia micro bends, right? And if you haven't already, check out the video I did about micro bends that I'll link below. And the first phrase of the solo, micro bend, right? Where he climbs up this D, E flat, E. Basically like a staircase. To the third degree of the C major scale. Then he does C, B, B flat. Bends that G to A, but the way he does it, like, almost really laid back, is so cool. Right? Then I do. All diatonic to C major scale, right? A, G, F, E. So together we have. second half of the solo will start like the beginning. Micro bends. And we'll do. I do it as a pre-bend. This A, G, F, F. Then you can do. Right? F, E, D, C. All together now. Add some light overdrive from the Cornerstone Gladio. Melody is key. This is a solo very much in the same realm as Cassidy that you're not shredding over the main solo. This is a very singable solo, almost the perfect solo, right? So, takeaways. 
Garcia is a master at these micro bends. Right, you can even do ah, something like that if you want. Melody is key, and hopefully that is a solo you'll be singing this whole day. <laughs> guys that is today's video on the solo section from Casey Jones and why I believe it's the perfect Grateful Dead solo right you have the Garcia micro bands a very diatonic solo meaning all the notes are in the key of C major and most importantly it's a solo that is easily rememberable and that you could sing right melody is king it doesn't matter you play 10,000 notes or seven notes, the audience will remember the most memorable solo, one like this in Casey Jones. Again, melody is key. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.